Hey gang, welcome to The Grace Day. Today, I'm gonna be taking a look at a lineup of tactical pants. And uh, you've probably seen them online, um, on social media through Instagram, Facebook, any of the other places, or um, possibly magazines or anything like that. But today, I'm gonna be taking a look at the primarily almost the entire UF Pro lineup. I've got four pairs of pants here. I'm gonna be going through the tactical all the way up to the combat pant. I'm gonna give you my perspective on them and my opinions on them based um, using them at work, which I have been doing for a few months now. And they've got tons of washes through them. I've been beating on them, everything else. I'm gonna kind of go into some detail and show you what you can do with them and all that kind of stuff. Some of the big differences between them too. I think some of the pairs are better suited for different roles and responsibilities. I'll get into that. Um, obviously, so this video is not just for people who are first responders, military LEO. I think a lot of people tend to like to wear 511s, especially in the 2A community and uh, concerned civilians, or maybe you're just a LARPer or maybe you just like spending money, but this video is really for everybody. I'm gonna give you a rundown. Even though the majority of my examples here are in my duty navies, I've also got a pair of multicams I also wear too on occasion. And uh, that's really about it. But I'm gonna talk very quickly first about UF Pro. Um, a lot of people don't realize this, but they are a Serbian company. They're not a United States company. Um, they do make really quality stuff. Everything, that, all of my interactions with them so far have been really, really good. Um, they're very fast on their shipping. They ship everything from by DHL over to the States and it clears customs very quickly, usually like in a day. So I usually get my stuff in two to three days from them. So I have absolutely no complaints there. They have great email follow-up. And uh, if you have anything, you know, if, as long as your sizes are in stock, you know, they ship them out next day. So I have absolutely no complaints there. Everything seems top notch from the quality of what they make in the materials they use in their stitching and their construction and everything like that. Um, my standard disclaimer, I'm not sponsored. I wasn't sent these for evaluation. I actually paid for them, but in complete transparency, I do get an industry discount through their UF Pro, Pro program. And uh, if you're military first responder, LE, or um, I think there's a couple other things you can qualify. You do get pretty nice discounts from them and uh, some other perks as well. So that's it on that. So we're gonna take a look at these. The other thing I wanna cover too very quickly before we get into looking at the individual pants is that every time you pick something up from them, whether it's pants, shirts, or whatnot, it comes in a nice soft pack, but on the inside, they also give you a nice little, um, it's a bag. So if you guys, if you're like me, you usually like keeping a spare set or a spare uniform in your go bag. Um, in case you might need it. This is a nice way to keep it organized. You can keep them looking nice and flat and they kind of fold right up in and tuck into them. It's nothing overly um, crazy, but it's just uh, a nice touch that everything that they ship comes in a nice bag for each individual garment, all right? So, all right guys, so let's look at pants. The first one I'm gonna take a look at here is the P40 Classic Gen 2 Tactical Pant. Uh, but before I get into the specifics of this pant, I'm going to talk about some of the things that are common across all of the UF Pro pants for the most part, okay? So first things first, they're they're super high quality. I'm not gonna knock them anyway. I've had absolutely no problems. I have, I noticed one thing on this pair of pants I'll point out here in a second, but I think it was my own fault. Um, but the pants themselves, they're generally made out of great ripstop material. Um, one of them is actually a no melt material that we'll get to here in a second. But this particular pant is a 67% uh, polyester, 33% cotton. They also use Scholars, which is a Swiss company. I watched a video about it out on their website. I figure if I'm paying $165 and up for a pair of pants, I should probably watch the video on them. But they use a Swiss manufacturer called Scholar. They make this great stretch material and they put it strategically all over the pants, depending on the model. On the P40 Classic, you've got it uh, basically all the way across the upper or the lower waist here, all the way through the seat down into the upper thighs and then through the crotch. So it does a really good job. They fit really well across all of the UF Pro pants and that's what I wanna talk about is the fit tends to be a little bit slimmer. So um, if you guys are familiar like with 511s, Elbecos, your Blowers, um, your True Specs and your Proppers, they tend to be more of a fuller cut they give you, they're very roomy, but the downside to that is they also give you a lot more material that you don't need, which ends up weighing more. Um, honestly, I think it just doesn't look as good. So um, I'm gonna be putting up some profile pictures here, um, showing some 360 views of what these pants, each of them look like um, on, and you guys will see what I'm talking about. The other thing that uh, UF Pro does is they have a higher crotch, and that's one of the ways that they accomplish that better, truer fit. Um, I'm gonna say straight up that it took me a second to realize, also in that video that I watched, I referenced the shoulder 
video, or maybe it was a different one, but they have a two-way zipper in it. And for those of us who are guys, um, you know, we need a free willy to go to the bathroom if we're doing number one. And what's different about this particular guy is when you have a higher crotch, you tend to not be able to lower your zipper all the way. So, and it makes it kind of a challenge to, to free willy. So what UF Pro did is they put in this two-way zipper and what you do to actually free willy is you pull the zipper up is instead of down. And it actually compensates for that extra centimeter and a half that you would be using um, for a, an elongated zipper and it actually works. So now it's kind of one of those things where my other pants that I tend to wear um, at work, I try to pull the zipper up and it doesn't do it, which is kind of a unique function to the UF Pros and I think it's super solid, all right? Other thing that UF Pro does really well is they put a nice silicone grip band in all of their waists, which if you guys wear combat shirts or even maybe just like a duty shirt, anything like that, maybe even just polos, you guys know if you in, do a lot of, you know, just active work on some direct action stuff, it tends to pull out. Not the case with these. Well, it, it helps keep your, your shirt tucked in um, for longer periods of the day. Other things ac across all of the UF Pro pant lineups is the sizing. Um, they're very consistent pant to pant. I currently wear a 32. It's no secret here. If you guys have seen some of my other videos, I put on some pounds and then I've lost them. When I had these, I was right around 34, maybe a little bit bigger. Um, in cries, I wear a 32 regular. These are 32, or excuse me, these are 34 32s. And um, they run a little less true to size of an American fit. And what I mean by that is if you're a 33, and you're a true 33, you might want to think about a 34 is what I'm saying, because these guys now, they're a little bit loose on me. You'll see them in the profile videos. But um, other than that, I would caution you that if you go out and order these and you're borderline between a 34 and a 36, you might want to opt for the 36, because I think in general in Europe, they run a little bit slimmer here. We have a little bit more generous of a cut. Um, now, one thing that UF Pro does is they do put an elastic section in all of their pants, but it's not like a 511, an Obeco, a Cry, an Arcteryx, or anything like that, where you have an adjustable band in there and you can cinch it and let it out, and you have about three inches worth of wiggle room in there. Um, not the case with the UF Pro pants. They size them individually to the inch. So you'll wanna make sure that you do a really good job measuring yourself before you place the order. And if you're on that cusp of being between a 33 and a 34, go for the 34s, that would be my opinion, all right? Unless you're gonna be like me and you're planning on losing a whole lot of weight and then you're gonna find yourself that they're a little bit too big and then you can't cinch them in. So there is that side of it too. All right, uh, what else can I tell you about all the pants in common? They're all double belt looped, which is super cool. They're also big enough to accommodate a Cobra buckle, which I think a lot of people use this day and age. So um, you don't have to take your Cobra buckle. Even on my cries, I have to take the buckle off, thread it through, and then put the buckle back on. And it's kind of a pain, it's kind of cumbersome. Not so with the UF Pros. They give you a nice generous belt loop that will accommodate the Cobra buckle, but it's not too big to where it actually creates um, unwanted space there as well. All right, so let's talk about the P40 Classic Gen 2. All right, so this was an update to the P40, their original pant. This is basically like their entry model basic base pant. Uh, retail price on this is 165 bucks. Yeah, you heard that, it's 165 bucks. So what do I like about it? I like the fit, I like the comfort level, and this is across all of the pants as well. I'm kind of going back here in a second, but the shoulder material, I think they do a really good job keeping a nice trim fit. It keeps the weight down. I think these are like 0.85 kilos, uh, which is you know very, very light when you think about it. Again, these are 34, 32s. And um, the material makeup, it's 67% polyester, 33% uh, nylon ripstop or cotton when it's ripstop material. This particular pant has seven pockets. You've got two in the front. You've got two here, which are Velcro enclosure. In the pockets, you've got some nice stretch uh, like magazine holders and stuff in there so for pocket organization. The same pocket is also double entry, so you get a nice zipper here. These are all nice, high-quality YKK zippers. So everything on this thing is top-notch. The pants are double-stitched. Um, like I mentioned, it's got the shoulder material. On the P40 Classic Gen 2s, it basically goes all the way from the uh, lower waist area, you know, like the nape of your back, all the way down through to your upper thighs in the back, and then also in the crotch. So I think they do a really good job. Um, two more pockets on the back, and these are, of course, also Velcro here on this. And then 
You do have what's common across all of the UF Pro Pants, a secret pocket right here, which is on the left front pocket. And it's just big enough maybe to hold like a key fob or maybe an ID or something like that. But it's not something that you're definitely getting into a lot. In fact, I tend to think that once you have a belt here, and you're kind of you kind of have to look for this pocket. It's not something that's totally intuitive. So it's a nice. It's the seventh pocket out of the whole thing, um, but I don't necessarily know how practical it is. The other thing that they like giving you are these D rings here, and I'm going to tell you where it's stitched because it goes on the bottom of the belt loop. I tend not to use it, and I think you could actually remove this thing. I don't put my keys on there. I tend to typically run a carabiner through uh, the belt loop just out of. Um, I guess, habit. So the D-ring is kind of a neat idea if you want to put it there. The downside to it is anytime you pull up on it, you'll see it here, it tends to pull part of the pocket out. So it's one of those things, I might end up cutting it off, I don't know, um, but I've left it on here at least for the videos. The pockets themselves are nice and deep. On the inside here, they're a nice cotton material. Um, on the inside here, they're also a ripstop backing, and of course it's double stitch as I mentioned. And these particular pants, just like all of the UF Pro pants, accommodate their 3D knee pads, all right? So I've got a pair of those here. These are the soft 3D, they're the moldable ones. They also have a harder one. What I tend to do with my UF Pros, instead of running the hard knee pads, is I tend to run the softs and then I put the puncture plates, which you can run in the combat pants solo. Um, and I just tuck them right here into this pocket. And this is how it was designed. So everything on these pants is are modular across their lineup, excuse me. And very simple, you just kind of throw them up here. You've got a nice meshed back here in the knee so you don't get overly hot, which is, tends to be a problem a lot of times when you run knee pads. And it's not rocket science, guys. You just throw the knee pad in there and you zip it up. So everything on this pant, I've talked about, um, I think for the most part, oh, one other thing I forgot at the clasp up here, you got a snap and you've got the, um, the uh, I don't even know what you would call it, but like a sliding button lock so that your waist is nice and set. Um, the knee pads themselves, there's no way to uh, secure them in your knee area. So depending on the length of your legs, like I'm a 32, However, where these sit, they tend to run a little bit low, and the bottom of these pads, even though they're soft, tends to bounce me in the shins, and it's just enough to be a little bit annoying. So even though they've done a really good job here, and you guys can see on the stitching, they've put in some um, contour shaping to the knee itself. My two biggest gripes with this are, one, that there's no way to secure this to the back above my calf to make it ride at the right height, even though I tend not to have problems with it when I'm actually in an articulated down position. Um, the other thing is that there's no reinforcement on the fabric of the knees. It's that 67%, 33% combination, uh, but there is no additional wear resistance here on the knees, which I think if you're wearing the knee pads, especially if you put the puncture plates in there, that you would probably want something to be a little bit more robust. So with that being said, who do I think these pants are for? Well, I think if you were looking for a great light duty use, maybe just a pair of tactical pants, like you're tired of your 5.11s, you want something that fits a little bit better, that breathes a little bit better, that is just a better cut, this is the pant for you. Maybe if you're in a duty capacity, but you tend to do more administrative work, like a desk sergeant or something like that, and you still want a pair of pants that if you need, need to go out and hit the streets that you're looking for a pair, this would be a great pant for you as well. I have no problems with them. The wear resistance is fantastic. The color fasting is great. I've washed them a number of times. I would say make sure that you turn them inside out, wash them on cold, and don't dry them. Um, they've got very clear instructions on what each pant needs from a washing perspective. Um, they're in here somewhere. Here they are. You guys can see here. They've got. Um, you guys can see here. They've got all of the standard international labels here on them. So um, they do a really good job. Um, the other thing that I would have that I kind of mentioned earlier that I want to. The stitching on the shoulder material has started to come out here, and this happened after I washed them stitching side out. So that's why I recommend, they recommend turning, I usually turn all my stuff inside out just for the re reason so my Velcro stays nice and crisp and all that kind of stuff. But I did notice that some of the top line of the stitching here on the shoulder materials backed out um, the last time I washed them, which has been a number of times. So again, P40, classic Gen 2 pant, uh, 165 bucks. All right. All right, so next pant up is going to be the P40 Gen 2 
all terrain. So as you would expect, it's very similar to the P40 Classic. It's just got the stuff that I was complaining about fixed in this particular one. It's got a reinforced material in the knees and in the pockets here. And then it's also got some pocket retainers. The pocket configuration is just a little bit different. This one's actually got nine pockets. Again, it's the same double belt loops, same claps, same double zipper, same silicon insert in the waistband. Um, it's also got the mesh backing. It basically ups the notch. It just you know, it takes everything up a notch. You got the mesh there, so it keeps your knees nice and cool. And the other thing that it does that the other pant doesn't have that's really cool is it's actually got a lace, a boot lace hook here. So you can actually put this through your laces and snug it down so you don't have to worry about your pants coming up. And it is a stretch bungee material and it really does work. I've used it a few times at work and it's just a really nice feature. It's also got a reinforced uh, outer heel here on the kick side. So for your boots, You've just got a little bit extra. Think of like Lee Dungaree's Carhartt's kind of construction on it. Everything's all double stitched. The, this one again is going to be a 67% polyester, 33% cotton uh, ripstop. Um, you guys can see here more of that reinforced material up here on the pockets, which is nice. If you tend to wear, put a knife up here, which I tend to do. We've also got two knife pockets here. So your pockets, I guess I should just run them down. You've got your two here in the front. You've got your super secret squirrel hidden zipper pocket here in the front left like you always do them for like the key fob just like in the p40 classics um, the shoulder material on this one again lower part of the waist you do have a little bit nicer of a thicker uh, waistband that kind of goes up it's got a nice high back on it that's also got some notching in it you've got your shoulder material all the way down same just like the p40 classics all the way down to the uh, upper thighs and the back like your hamstring area really nice fit again these also kind of fit like lululemon pants they're super nice high crotch on them um, also have that same goofy d-ring in here that tends to pull the pocket out that i don't use the pockets here, one thing that's different though that you guys can see here, pri primarily in your main cargo pockets, is going to be that you have zippers now instead of Velcro. They also have that stretch material on the inside to organize your compartments. Also, double access to the same pockets, and you guys can see here where those uh, stretch dividers are in here for magazines or any other stuff that you might want to put in there. And then on the outer side here, you've got that reinforced material, and then you've also got like a retention tab in here that is Velcroed in that you can remove. Uh, but it's nice because if you like tuck, you know, like maybe want to put a multi-tool in there, you're worried about it coming out, you can actually just kind of throw it in there and then take this, throw it on the top of it, and then it tends to just give you that little extra protection of retention. Um, and then like I mentioned, these also give you two knife pockets, pen pockets, whatever you want to call them, right here in the front, really easy access. And then this particular pant as well has some nice, very subdued UF Pro stitching here, something that's not completely obnoxious or anything like that. And then the other thing on the back is also zipper. So basically every place that you had zipper uh, Velcro before with Velcro tabs, you're now using zippers, which are a little quieter. And um, again, YKK zippers all around on this, double stitched, um, high quality material, same fit as all the other pants. Again, if you're jumping around, make sure you get something that's true to size, maybe go up just one for yourselves for those of us here in the United States, because I tend to think they run a little bit smaller, like a European, European size. And then of course, the big one here is they've got the reinforced material on the knees, same cut, same issue. They don't have any of the retention on the back to actually do any of the fitting. Um, so these pants as well tend to make me feel like if I'm using the 3D pads in it that I um, feel them kind of tap in my shins every now and then, which is a little bit annoying. But so I guess the only thing that I didn't cover on these is the price. These are actually $15 more than the other pants. I think it's $15 well spent. It's uh, 180 bucks a pair. So um, it's just got enough of the upgrades and things that start making this cross into the line of where if you want a really solid tactical pant, but not a combat pant, this is your jam. Right here would be the, P, the P40 uh, All-Terrain Gen 2 would be my recommendation. If you're looking for an all-around good ripstop pant that's comfortable, that's bomb-proof, that has all the things that a lot of combat pants have, but you don't necessarily want a true combat pant, this is your guy. All right, next. All right, guys, now we're up in the ante, and we're looking at $200 combat pants now. So these are the 
Striker XT Gen 2 combat pants, again, in navy. I will say straight up, I absolutely love these pants. Um, I know some people aesthetically, they're not into the whole knee pad thing. I actually don't mind them. I think in navy, it becomes pretty, um, they kind of meld right in kind of well. So um, even though I really like them, there's a couple things I wish they changed, but they made some change up from the tactical pants that we were looking at that I think for me on a daily duty use, I absolutely love these things. So um, what am I talking about? Well, it's the same 67, 33% uh, ripstop that they use everywhere else. Um, they've got the same great, it's a little bit the shoulder material, the stretch material in there. Everywhere that there was Velcro, any place else is gone. It's all zippers now, of course, YKK. You got two front pockets. You've got the super secret um, pocket here, which is a little bit lower on the combat pants. So it's a little bit easier to get to when you're wearing a belt. So I appreciate that. I still don't use it very often. So they got rid of the D-ring. Um, the other thing that this pant doesn't have that the tactical pants do, or the classic pants, is the uh, silicon waistband in here. But I think the way they fit actually makes it so that it's not that big of a deal. You are getting double stitching all the way throughout. You're starting to see reinforcement. Like here in the front plates, you're starting to get uh, a double layer of uh, fabric here. So that's a high wear area when you're thinking about sitting and having um, a workspace right in front of you, carriers, stuff like that. So it's nice to see that. You're starting to see on the pockets up here, you've got some nice contouring to the upper pockets that allow a really nice tight fit. Um, like I mentioned, all the Velcro is gone. You got double zippers here on your main cargo pocket. Um, you've got mag wells, uh, retention, you've got cargo storage on the inside that's divided. You've got a nice outer pocket here with that same retention system that you guys can see here, it's Velcro removable. Oftentimes I actually take to tend this, take these guys out and just chuck them and run them without it, but you can by all means keep them in there if that's your jam. You've got your front pockets, which are great for knives, pens, all of that kind of stuff or other kind of tools. Um, the other thing that this pant gives you is it gives you a nice pocket down here on the calf. I'll be straight up and say it's only one-sided. I wish it was two-sided because if you're ever sitting down and you're in a kneeling position, um, and if you're depending on what side you're on, what leg is forward, you might not be able to get into this pocket. It would be nice to have one that runs horizontally so you can nice do a nice horizontal zip. It would be a nice add, I think. Again, like the uh, other pants, they've got a nice reinforced inner kick right here so you don't have to worry about rubbing and it's that same material that is on the all-terrain pants in the tactical lineup. You've got your boot hooks, and you've got a nice zipper in the back so you can actually air these things out just a little bit if you were so inclined, or you can actually just tighten them up. They've also got a drawstring in here so you can cinch them down and blouse them if you like them. Uh, the material too that you start adding in here above the knee pads and below the knee pads, they introduce shoulder material there as well. So even though these do not have the knee pad retention system, they tend to sit a little bit higher. They're a little bit smaller of a pocket and they tend to hold those pads just up a little bit higher. And for me personally, they actually sit in a good spot. So I don't have to worry about it. And I'll pull the pad out here. So you guys, you didn't even know that they were in there. But these are the soft 3D pads right here. And you've got the same nice mesh material here in the back. They do offer an HT, which is a hot temperature pant, which is a little bit lighter. Um, other things that this pant has that are kind of cool, um, it's got an inner zipper liner here. So you can put in their windstopper liner for winter use, which is really nice. Um, they also introduce Cordura into this pant as well in select places. So this pant's 200 bucks. Um, the other thing I want to show you too is if you don't want to run the whole 3D knee pad, which is kind of cool with this, kind of like Cry's, but not really. You know, Cry has their um, air pads. What you can do with these guys is you can take this puncture plate out. Knee pads already have a little bit of padding in them, kind of like, um, you know, like a, a cotton batting in it. But you can actually take these guys, and if I don't want to run the full knee pads, they've got an additional pocket here, and I can just slide this puncture pad, or the, the this guy in here, and I'm going to do it very quickly, so I'm not going to do it fully. But it actually, well, I should probably do that. You can actually throw it in here, and then tuck it, flap it back over, so it sits nice and tight in there. There's no flip-flopping around. It doesn't bounce around in your knee. And then you roll this guy down, and you've got Velcro right here. And then just, just kind of like the air flex pads on Cry's, they go in there and you've also got some Velcro up here on top that's not needed. Um, but then you've got a nice puncture resistant plate in your soft padded knees right here. So like anything, everything's not absolutely perfect. I'd like to see a silicon band in here, even though it's never been a problem for me. Um, 
The shoulder material on the back is great. Um, it goes up into the high, you know, the, the lower back here again. It's got a thicker waistband and the shoulder material goes all the way down across the seat and into the crotch. And then as I mentioned earlier, you also get it in the knee areas here as well. So these pants fit really well. They do a great job. They've been bomb proof. They've held their color for me. Absolutely no complaints with these pants whatsoever. Um, the only thing I think I would add is like the stuff that everybody talks about. I would like to have a cinching system on the back of the knee pads just to get them super rock solid in place. But where these sit on here, absolutely no problems with them. All right. And like I said, this is the pant that I, if I'm wearing UF Pro pants at work, this is the one I go to on a daily basis. All right. 200 bucks for these guys in Navy. You'd pay more for camo, different camo patterns, but 200 bucks. All right, guys, and this is going to be the last pant here. And this is kind of like upper echelon. You're getting well into cryo territory as far as price goes. Um, these guys are like 300 bucks a pair. Yeah. So what makes them so special? But before I do that, if UF Pro is watching this, please, please, please make this pant available in colors other than multicam. Even though I wear multicam sometimes at work, I would love to have this pant in navy or black. Just saying. I know you guys, I don't know if you're watching or not, but I would absolutely love it. So this is the Striker X Combat Pant. Like I mentioned, it is a $300 pant, and it has everything that you would expect a $300 pant to have. It's basically like the Combat XT Gen 2, just a lot nicer. And what do I mean by that? Well, I'm gonna pull this rigger belt out that I had in it, just cause it's gonna bother me. But you guys can see here, it was a great show. I showed you how I pulled this rigger belt out, double belt loops, just like all the other stuff. All right, so what makes this pant so great in my mind? Well, it's a lot like the cries, but not. And here's why. So it's got a nice thick padded, like a nice padded structured waistband into it, okay? Brings back the silicon band that was missing in the Combat XT Gen 2. Um, it gives you a button fly or a button here rather than a snap. Same inner retention here. It's got the ability to put the same zip in. You can see the tabs here, so you can actually do your inner liners. Um, this particular pant is a 67, 33% cotton, but it's also a no melt fabric. So you're starting to get into that stuff where if you're in hazardous environments, heat, flames, those kinds of things, this one will not stick to your skin if it melts. All right. So this is going to be, not only is it a ripstop, it is a no melt fabric. Um, they do give you, um, Velcro to add in here if you're so inclined, but they are nice buttons here. So they are completely silent. No zippers, just button reinforcement here. You do have side access on the zipper here. Um, again, same retention systems on the inside of the pockets. I'll show you guys on the inside, all the pockets are nice mesh as well. So they're super light and breathable. Um, you've got your two knife pen pockets here in front. You've also got what you call your two dip pockets uh, for your cans of dip or whatever else you might want in it. Maybe gloves or something like that, like uh, nitrile gloves. But these are also button. They also, I should mention, they also give you extra Velcro so you can add Velcro on these if you're so inclined and you don't like using the button. So it was just a nice little touch. All right. Uh, other things too is it's got shoulder ripstop all the way, uh, shoulder stretch material through the crotch right here. Not on the inner thighs, it's a little bit more bomb proof here, which I kind of like actually. Um, these fit absolutely perfectly, at least to my body. Um, it's got the knee pads just like on the Combat XT. They are a little bit different. You guys can see here they're completely stretched, stitched in. So one thing is, is that you cannot just put in the uh, puncture plate from the front. If you wanted to, what you do is you unzip here. That's the only place that there's zippers. Um, you would put in your 3D knee pads here. Now they do have a place, some elastic in place here, so you can put the puncture pads in there if you were so inclined and just run those, but it's not near as secure as the Combat XTs, all right? Um, it's a nicer, lighter stretch material on the inside. It's super breathable, but it's not perforated. It's an actual solid material in here. Uh, same kind of thing on the back. You've got um, the zipper, so you can actually open your pants up a little bit to give your boots a little bit of breathing room. 
They do have stretch material here on the side, so they kind of blouse a little bit. You guys can see here, you can adjust how much through buttons, where on the other guys, it's kind of like that bungee zip kind of a thing. And then here you also have a boot hook as well. Um, shoulder material in the stretch in the knees, just like in the Combat XT, um, also in multicam. So it's multicam all the way throughout. The back, same kind of a deal here. You've got the stretch material all the way up to the higher back, low waist, all the way through the seat. The biggest difference here on the Combat, on the, uh, the Striker X Combat Pant, is you do have adjustable knees, which is something I know in previous videos I've seen before, a lot of people complain about that, that you don't get that adjustability. Well, on this, this particular pant, you do now. Uh, the other thing here too, is that they've got a nice hidden zipper here on the lower pocket if you want one. And it's also got retention down in this pocket as well, which was missing in the other one. So you get a lot of really cool stuff um, on this particular pant. So again, no D-ring, which they got rid of, which I appreciate because I think it's just kind of frivolous and it doesn't really help out. Um, and then you do have the secret pocket up here as well, which is consistent across all of them. And then your double zipper here, your construction. Again, this pant also YKK zippers. Um, so you would actually zip up to free willy just like all of the other ones. So um, yeah, if you have pros watching, please make this pant available in standard duty colors. Um, I would love it. And uh, so that is really it for this one, guys. I wanted to uh, kind of give a complete rundown on the UF Pro pants. And uh, whether you guys are a civilian, you're law enforcement, you're a first responder, you're just a concerned citizen, you're a LARPer, whatever it may be, um, I know there's a, just a lot of social media blitz ads out there for these guys. And um, when you start talking the $300 price point retail for pants, you know, people want to know what they're getting in the overall construction. So my overall thoughts, again, just to recap, I think UF Pro, they're a solid company. Their customer service is fantastic. They ship exceptionally fast for being a European company. Clears customs in Cincinnati for me personally, like in a day, and I get these things in like two, three days tops um, from Serbia. All of the materials are top notch. The construction's top notch. Everything is double stitched. There's a lot of thought and design put into these. I like the fit of them. I like the comfort level of them. I think they've just done a really good um, job all around um, creating a legitimate duty level product um, that if you don't have the ability to get Cries or the Arcteryx or you know the Beyonds or something like this, this is an option for you that's probably a little bit more readily accessible. Like I said, I'm not affiliated with them. I've had no contact with them other than just doing online orders through the Pro Program. I would be interested to see exactly how they kind of evolve a little bit because they do put a lot of emphasis on their marketing, unlike the Cries, the Beyonds, you know, the Arcteryxes of the world. They seem to have a very specific known niche uh, group of clientele that they don't need to advertise to, where UF Pro, I think, is trying to expand a little bit. So it's going to be interesting, I think, just in general to see what these guys and how they evolve over the next couple of years and what actually happens with them. But um, rest assured, if you guys are ordering stuff from them, it's a class act all around. I can't recommend their products enough. Aesthetically, it may or may not be your cup of tea, but you know what, if it is, and it's one of those things you guys like them, you know, the designs by all means, the construction is there. My only words of caution are make sure that you know what size you're ordering. And again, size up a little bit if you're in the United States, because I think these are a true uh, European cut fit. So what I mean by that, if you guys are jumping around, is that their waistbands are, don't have a lot of the extra um, ability to adjust in them like your cries do, like your G3s or your G4s, stuff like that. Um, so you have to get the pin pretty close to the hole as far as your sizing is concerned. And then even at that, if you're like a true 33, you might want to think about maybe getting a 34. Or if you're on the cusp between a 33 and a 34, definitely get the 34. Um, but for me now, it's no issue because I'm a 32, but all of the pants I ordered were 34s and they kind of fit more like a 33. So they're a little bit loose on me. Um, but other than that, guys, I hope you like this, found it valuable, enjoyable. I tried to make it, even though I wrapped my um, own personal use on a duty capacity, I tried to make it a, a video that's kind of applicable to everybody because I know a lot of people are looking at this kind of stuff maybe for Christmas. You get some extra cash and you want to get some high quality pants, stuff like that. So 
Um, that's really it for this one, guys. So like, subscribe, hit the bell to get notified, all of that jazz. Follow me on Instagram at Gray State Medic. You can follow me at Parlor at Gray State Medic. Check out my podcast, GS Medic. You can find it on Apple, Google, um, Amazon, all of Pandora, Spotify, all those kinds of places. And uh, I'll be doing another video here pretty soon, kind of taking a look at some of the rundown of some of the other stuff going all the way from like True Spec and Proper through 511, through UF Pro, all the way up to Cry Precision on the duty capacity. And I'll be giving you a rundown on that, specifically a little bit more considerations to EM, you know, to first responder duty use. Um, but that's it for this one, guys. Until next time, stay safe.